All right, what's up everyone? Justin here with another video. So this week, there's just been a massive typhoon, well, three typhoons that have been coming through Japan, though it's been raining all week, so I thought I would stay inside and try some Japanese snacks and rank them from A, being you should try this if you're already in Japan or when you come to Japan, and F, please don't buy this, because it's crap. All right, so. That said, let's get the video started with our first snack. So first is take, take no kono sato. And this is very famous all around Japan. It's sold at every konbini. So take no ko are kind of these, I guess, what would you call these? Pine shaped snacks. And this one is ichigo and chocolate. Ichigo and chokora, so each so strawberry and chocolate. This is a classic, so I've had this before, so I kind of knew what to expect. So I'm not sure if I should give it the A tier or not. So I'll call this one a solid B tier. But mm, it's definitely really good. So next on the list is. Hinoko no Yama, which is kind of the rival to Take no Kono Sato. So my students would actually often argue, or back when I was in ALT, my students would often argue about which was better, Hinoko no, Hinoko no Yama or Take no Kono Sato. So let's try these Hinoko no Yama. And this is just straight chocolate flavored. And it's kind of a mushroom shape. And so you can find this at pretty much any konbini or any supermarket in Japan. And it's also kind of a chocolate, so it's just kind of just that basic flavor. So hard to disappoint. So again, I just give this one a place this one in the B tier. These roasted green tea soy latte biscuits. Or in Japanese biscuit and these are mainly found at Lawson so you can probably find something similar at seven or family but these are specifically Lawson brand it's not bad but it's definitely kind of dry so I usually like green tea and green tea is something I usually go for but just because they're so dry I might give these uh put these in the C tier I, I probably wouldn't recommend them if you have another snack you can eat. Alright, next we'll do these... Actually, we're going to do these Unagi Chiroru next. So, I've never actually had this brand before. So, this is going to be a complete first for me. And I'm pretty sure you can also find these that any konbini in Japan, maybe not the unagi flavor, but definitely the chiroru type snack. And they're individually wrapped, so you can hand them out to your friends in these trying times. Okay, it looks kind of just like a little caramel square, kind of. Mmm, that's exactly what it is. It's like a little caramel square. I was expecting something kind of unagi flavored, or like ill flavored, but... Not at all. So I would put these also in the C tier, um, just because I'm not a huge fan of caramel. But if you're a fan of caramel, check these out next time you're in Japan, because I think you'll like them. Next up, I'm going to try these Uzura no Aji Sketa Tamago. So these are boiled and seasoned quail eggs. I don't know that I've ever actually had quail eggs before, so this is also going to be a new experience for me quite small it kind of feels like i'm pulling a regular boiled egg which i guess is to be expected all right here goes my first taste of quail you know that just tastes like a normal hard boiled egg not much difference so oh there's a bit bit of an aftertaste oh, i don't really like the aftertaste as much, so I might put these in the 
D tier. Boiled and seasoned quail eggs. Enough of those. All right, next up is this tonkatsu snack. So tonkatsu is basically Japanese pork cutlet, and it's kind of a uh, Western style Japanese food. And it's really good. It's kind of like Japanese comfort food. You can usually put tonkatsu in like curry or something. Oh, these are kind of cool. They're just like little tonkatsu bite-sized bits. These are a lot better than I was expecting. I love tonkatsu, so I might put these in the A, in the A category. Dip them in some tonkatsu sauce, and we might have a winner. I'm actually going to try that real quick. Alright, I have my plate with a little bit of tonkatsu sauce now, so we're going to dip these little tonkatsu bites into the sauce and should turn out pretty nice. It's more of a small meal, but definitely give this an A. So yay! Yeah, we have our first snack in the A tier. Next up are these kind of I'm assuming these are white chocolate covered strawberries with the little cow on the front. Oh, that's cool. They're actually, these are actually seasonal. So you can see right here, I don't know if you can see it, but it says Hikan Ginte, which just means that it's a limited time. And I bet these are pretty good because when I was at the Kombini buying all these snacks, this was actually the last one. So it must be pretty popular. Yep, definitely just something covered in white chocolate. Actually, I don't think that's a strawberry. I think that's a peanut inside. It is a peanut inside. So why is there a strawberry on the front? I'm also very happy I don't have a peanut allergy because that might have been really bad. Mm, these are also pretty good. Mm. I would probably put these in the... Uh, B tier, I would say they're right around Takeko no Ko no Isato and Kinoko no Yama. But I still think I like the tonkatsu snack a little more. But definitely not bad. Solid B tier. So, and next up we're going to do these dry mikon, which is just basically dry mikans. Ehime is very famous for mikans. Our mascot in Ehime is actually... Mikyan, which is basically, I think, a giant meat, uh, a giant dog with like a Mikyan face and like leaf ears. I could be completely misremembering, but it might not be a dog, it might be a bear. These are actually pretty sweet, so I would put these in the A tier. They're sweet and they're probably a little more healthy than just straight chocolate or potato chip which we'll be getting to later about halfway through next up are these koro koro snacks which are really famous in japan they're similar to energy drink and they're supposed to help you concentrate throughout the day and everything and these are kimetsu themed um if you haven't watched kimetsu no yaba yet i would really recommend it there's the television or the tv anime and there's also the movie and both are really good when i bought this one mainly because it was Zenitsu and Zenitsu is one of my favorite characters these are just kind of like big blobs of almost jelly i don't know if i would say it's quite as good as kinoko no yama or the tonkatsu snacks earlier so i put this as a solid c but it's definitely if you're in japan and you're interested in kind of checking out this energy snack Definitely go for it. Alright, next up are these chips, which are a Jujutsu Kaisen theme. And Jujutsu Kaisen is also another really popular anime right now in Japan. Mm. Jujutsu Kaisen and Kimetsu no Yaba are probably the two most popular animes right now. Um, Jujutsu Kaisen also has a TV anime for its first season, and they're coming out with a movie soon. So, I would also recommend Jujutsu Kaisen if you're looking for something new to watch. 
And these are Kaisen yakisoba flavored chips. So they're basically seafood flavored yakisoba chips. And yakisoba is fried noodles. So let's give these a taste. They're kind of wavy like yakisoba too. The flavor is actually not as strong as I was expecting. Probably these in the B tier too. They're pretty, pretty solid chips, especially if you like yakisoba. No, I wouldn't say they're A tier. Next are these on donuts from 7-Eleven, and they're sweet bean donuts. And sweet bean is like red paste, so it's also a really famous Japanese snack. Red or red bean paste. Sorry, I would definitely recommend these. I think this is our next A tier snack, you sweet bean donuts. I'm going to put on 5 pounds after this video. I'm going to have to go to the gym tomorrow for 2 hours. I'm going to be too slow. I'm not going to be able to go later today. Next is this butter snack. I think it's basically just, uh, that's, that's grilled butter, grilled butter. Um, I'm not really sure what to expect from this because... I like butter, but I'm not sure about just a snack that is completely butter. It's kind of just like eating like a buttered like cookie. It's still a lot better than I was expecting. I think I'd actually put these in the A tier. Definitely if you're in Japan and they still have these. I don't know if these are limited time or not. Oh, that's why they're so good. They made a Hokkaido butter. And Hokkaido is really famous for like their milk products with like butter and milk yeah also corn which was something i didn't know until i came to japan but apparently hokkaido corn is really good i can't eat too much at one snack because i gotta make sure i get through everything there's three more so stay with me next are nebaraka pudding choco which is basically just, this is from Family Mart, so if you want to try these, you have to specifically go to Family Mart to get these. And yeah, they're just kind of these little like type pudding type things with chocolate on top. There's also cream on the inside. So these are probably going to be really sweet. Mmm. Yeah, those are really good. I would put these in the A tier for sure. Probably, I should have been sorting these as I was going through. Putting the A tier here, B tier here, but too late. Next are these like sweet pie type snacks. This one is Monburan flavored. I'm not sure what Monburan is in Japanese. Only one way to find out. It also says chocolate okashi on the bottom corner, so it should be some chocolate in these as well. Part of the fun of trying new food in Japan though is not exactly always knowing what you're eating, but trying it anyway and then asking people afterwards. It's kind of nice because if you hear what you're you hear what you're eating before, you'll kind of have expectations. But if you're just going in blind, there's no expectations, so you can get a real taste of whether or not you like the food or not. Is there chocolate in this? Definitely not as good as the pudding snack. Or even Tatekono Soto to Kinoko no Yama, where I tried at the start. But it's still better than the green tea biscuits I had earlier. And the unagi snacks. So I would put these at C tier. Um, there's definitely a lot more delicious snacks, but not bad. When you're in the Kobin, you just kind of have to... Try something if it looks interesting to you. It can be hit or miss sometimes. And last on our list are, or last on my list is Ika Sumi Aji potato chips. So Ika is squid and Sumi is squid ink. So these are squid ink flavored potato chips. So yeah, how I said earlier, how it's best not to know what you're eating sometimes. I think this is one of those cases. <laughs> the chip looks kind of moldy. Um, all right. Actually, that's not bad. It's kind of just like a basic barbecue potato chip, which is a basic barbecue potato chip. I'll just kind of put C plus maybe a little above C, but not quite B tier. Um, 
But just because of the look of these, they don't look very appetizing. I might move these down to C tier, actually. あの、食べてみて。いや、美味しい。うん。私の代わりって。うん。うん。美味しいね。全部食べとったよ。送る。はい、どうぞどうぞ。そう、本当にもういいこれ。うん、あの、めっちゃ美味しい。チョコレート、